Drink, drink. Hey. You drink, Caleb? No, but hey, come on, you, you drop this. No, no, no. Dro no. Drop this. Please give me money, money, money. Money. Go away. Go away. No, no, camera. Oh, GPS okay. is here. Oh, oh. It's my phone, yeah. yeah. Morning, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> From Debre Marcos on the highlands in Ethiopia. And it's time to go on the way to the Blue Nile Gorge. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, bye. Have a good time, bye. Okay. Bye. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Bye bye. So, what's the plan for today? Well, maybe I'm going against the way, uh, I don't know. So, what's the plan? What happened? Yeah? yeah. So, I stayed, actually, I stayed uh, one day longer than, uh, than I thought in Debre Marcos because I was sick. Yeah, I was quite sick. I had, I had a cold. <laughs> uh, I had a cold. Uh, and I had a uh, food poisoning at the same time. So the first night when I arrived in Demir Marcos, wow, I was so bad. It was, I had so much fever, I thought I had malaria actually. But uh, well, in the end I managed to cure everything. And now I'm back in shape, ready to go to, to the biggest, maybe the biggest challenge since I crossed uh, Furka Pass in Switzerland. Because uh, now on the way we have the Blue Nile Gorge. Today it's gonna be 60 kilometers of up and down all the way to Dejen. And I'm going to Dejen because it's the start of the gorge. So I'm gonna go to the, just before uh, going down to the, down the valley. Uh, and I will keep the valley for tomorrow. So today, should be an easy day, a warm-up day before going to the whew, before uh, the great adventure of tomorrow. Good, good. How are you? <laughs> Look at this landscape, guys. The church being built. And you can see, we can start to see the red African earth. Wow, look at this valley. I guess we can almost see the, the Blue Nile Gorge already. Crops. You, you, you. Dejen. I am arriving in Dejen. Now it's time to find food and then to find a room. I'll try not to eat injera because my stomach is still uh, a bit weak and injera is not that easy to digest. I think I'm, ki I'm kind of dreaming eh, to find a, w a place with Western food. Oh my God. Uh, so I'm right in the center. Uh, where can I eat? Salamu. Maybe let's go here. Make it, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can go inside? Okay, let's ride inside the restaurant. Ay.
میگه ولی پاستا پاستا علی پاستا باتکل روز علی پاستا باتکل پاستا باتکل با باتکل تیکل ت و وات است تیکل ت اوکی وایت 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 اوکی وایت اوکی اوکی یا یا ها پاستا وایت وایت I can sit here. Oh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, pasta, ba? Uh, tickled. Uh, uh, what is tickled? Can I uh, see? Might tickled. Might tickled. Tickled. Can I can I see tickled? Vegetable. No, do you have pasta? What called vegetable? Ah, tickled vegetable. Mm. Ah, okay. Do you have rice? Oh. Rose? <laughs> Rose no. Rose no. Okay. No. But ah, pasta ba uh, tomato no? Uh, yes. Tomato yes. Yes. Uh, no. Vegetable. Uh, no no vegetable. Tic, uh, tomato tomato. Tomato. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm? Pasta ba tomato. Pasta ba tomato. Yes. Mm? Pasta ba yes. uh, Pasta ba tomato. Uh, uh, Pasta batimar. Nice ribu. Pasta batimar. 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 Ah, can can I see? Ah. This is a. Mister. Mister. Hmm. And and okay, wait. This is no. Tickled is this? This is tickled. Carrot man. Carrot man. Okay. Um, pasta ba car pasta ba carrot yeah. And 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 this this is Mesir. Mes ka Mesiru. Ba yena tiun. Kazi kazi ka ba shagom ma mounile. Can I can I have also some of this? Can I have some of this? Kazi kazi. Yes, this and the pasta ba this. Kazi. Pasta ba carrot. Mm. And uh, finish this also. Finish here, Kazi. Yes. Is she? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Good. Amalina, finish, 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 finish. I can count. And who let's host Alad Amos? But uh, but uh, talk like. Uh, Salam nu, denu, denan, bye kaya, bye, bye kaya. And ambo ale? Can I have ande ambo? Yes. I'm a single man. Ambo. Balan on. Huh? Can I give you a card now? Huh? Now, now, yeah. Ahun. 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 I'm a single man. But okay, I didn't. I want badabo, but no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I wanted bread, but uh, because yeah, I wanted to avoid eating injera today. And do you have a fork? Yeah. So I've got some bread here, I've got the carrots, <laughs> carrots, potatoes, and my pasta. And pasta and some vegetables. And let's try a bit of this. Mm. 
some sort of spicy lentils. That's good. Okay, I'm back outside in search of a hotel now. This way? Oh. Wow. I think there is a hotel here. Because on Eye of Landers, they were recommending a hotel behind the petrol station. I think that's the petrol station. I'm good, I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you? I think that's the petrol station and that's the hotel. Hotel, no? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice. Salam Nacho. This is hotel. Okay. Centenu. For a uh, sleep. Room, yeah. 300. 300. 300. 300. 300. There is what? There is hot water. Uh, yes. Huh? You have. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I leave my bike somewhere here or? Huh? Hi. Cycle, cycle there. Cycle. Okay. Okay. Huh? okay. I can. Okay. Oh, what a lovely hotel. Perfect. Look at these flowers. Sorry. Amost. Uh, no, Amost. Three hundred. Three hundred. Huh? Agar. Yeah. You need a Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Good, good, good. I, I, Ethiopia. Africa. 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 Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> My brother. Your brother. Yeah. Ah, uh, Bantamla Kabadna. Okay. Uh, name. Name. Eve. 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 Uh, <coughs> Let's go to see. What's waiting for us tomorrow? Or do you have an idea of what's waiting for us tomorrow? Okay, so sadly I have to walk through garbage. I just want to see the view. That's the only viewpoint I found. Oh, oh my God. Look at uh, that. Wow. So this is the valley of another river. I guess there is a waterfall somewhere there. So that's the valley of another river. And down there is the Blue Nile Gorge. So you see the plateau, the Abyssinian plateau is on the other side also. There's a huge crack. And the Blue Nile digged a valley that is about 1,500 meters deep. <laughs> yes, 1,500 meters deep. So what's, that's what I have to cross tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Apparently to, the, to go back to the plateau there, it's 43 kilometers. Half is downhill and the other half uphill. Easy. And that's the profile my application shows so you see 1753 meters to climb tomorrow we are probably at 2400 something we'll go down to one kilometers 1000 meters high and back up to 2500 <laughs> so it's gonna be the hardest day since uh, the forca pass in terms of climbing and it's gonna be hard also because I mean, we are in a tropical uh, environment, so when we're gonna be down to 1,000 meters high, it's gonna be super hot as well. But look at this incredible landscape. The beauty of Ethiopia. Look at the teff. Oh, I thought I could see the valley from here, but no. So I am now at the exit of Deje, of Dejen, where I'm gonna take this road tomorrow to go down the valley to cross the Blue Nile and back up on the other side. Oh, that's insane. I'm so tired, it's so high, there is no air. It's 2,400 meters high, there is no air here. My stomach is still not good. 
and I am in front of one of the biggest challenges of this journey. <sighs> I, mean, I fear this, this gorge since I entered Sudan, since I know I, most probably, I, I will most probably cross Ethiopia with the bike. I knew between Bahirdar and, and Addis there is this, this thing. And it's tomorrow. Whew. I guess that's why I don't have energy, because I'm anticipating, so I'm scared. And you always feel weak when it's the case. It's never good to feel scared. But tomorrow, when we will be in it, I'm sure it will be, be it will be better. Morning, my friends. And today is the day. Ah. The big day, the big day I've been waiting for since a very long time. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> let's go, let's go for the Blue Nile Gorge. Bye bye, bye bye. Hey hey hey. Good good good. I go to Addis. Addis. Yes. Okay, so first I need to find breakfast before leaving the town because here they, in the hotel they only had a pasta. But I had pasta yesterday and it was... Sorry, maybe it was the worst pasta I ever had, so, so I didn't want to eat here again. So I need to find food and then let's go for hell. Oh my God. Salamu, salamu. <laughs> but it's good, I feel good today, I feel strong. And full alley? Full? Full? Yeah, there. Where there is full? Where? Here? Full alley? Full? Alley? Oh god, fantastic. It's been such a long time I didn't have food. Full. Food? Full, full. Food. Full. Yes. Uh, special lunch or manna food? Oh, special food. You have, oh, fantastic. Oh my god, I did not have special. I did not have special food since uh, gone there. That's a very good omen for the climb. Salam. I can sit here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, there, there is this also. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I did not go far. I guess I'm gonna have. Look at the donuts they have. Wow. Can I have on the. Donut like this? I guess I guess I need a big breakfast. Under like this, yeah. Yes. But do you uh do you, you put sugar on it or no? No, no sugar. Just like this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have some donuts. Maybe I will just eat part of it and I will keep a little bit more for, for later. Tennis, tennis. <laughs> I go to Addis. I come from Bardar uh, and Marcos. Gondel, Bardar and Marcos. Dejen. Maybe Fiche. Addis. Huh? Tanisha, yeah. <laughs> you speak English, yeah. Tanisha, Tanisha. Huh? Ah, school. Ah, okay. And here is the coffee coming. Very nice. Coffee coming. Very nice. I'm a second. 
So you see, they always put some some things for the for the smell. It's very good. That's a good Okay. Very nice. So this is special food, as you see, full with egg. Yeah. Full of energy for the for the climb. For the big climb of the gorge of the Blue Nile. Huh? Ah, mix. Mix it, right? Ah, okay. あまりにさばくえさなんてこいじのいかさんたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたねしたね
Ah. Ah. Oh, putain. Ah. Oh, my God. And here is the bridge, guys. Ah. Salamne. That's it. Down with the downhill. And now maybe 17 or 20 kilometers of climbing. Look at that. Whew. I am in the climb now. Oh, and there's a monkey on the way. Oh, that was a big male, eh? Whew. Those baboons uh, are a little bit scary. Okay, I reach uh, the first view for... Ah, putain! Oh, fuck. I stepped on a, on a spine that went across my shoe all the way to inside my foot. What the hell? But look at this view, guys. So that's the lower part of the valley with the Borden Bridge. I guess that's the old bridge. And the Blue Nile. Wow, they're nice beaches, eh? Wow, how beautiful it is. I am now probably at about 1,100 meters high and up there is 2,400 meters high. the tracks the waterfall we saw yesterday I doubt we, you can see it okay I'm back I saw I am I, I already climbed 500 meters I am at 1500 meters let's huh huh oh phew. oh oh okay <laughs> so I think he's telling me that they are Probably that's a, I guess that's a quarry. So they are probably made with dynamite. They're probably bombing the mountain to, to make a, to open the mountain for the quarry for the guys to work. That's that's what the kids is uh, is saying. Ready? Okay, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Ciao. <laughs> wow! Look at that. Oh man, it's insanely steep here. First village on the way. First escort of the climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't touch, eh? Look out. And then again, you just go, go, go. Move! Banana! 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 Aye. <laughs> when you are struggling, it's really hard to keep your temper in this situation. Okay, so now I had, I had to close this bag, this bag, because I have a kid who tried to, tried to rob me. Then I pushed him away quite strongly. So now I have to wear my helmet in case he decides to take revenge and ambush me somewhere on the way with stones. Ah. Hey. No, but hey, come on, you, you drop this. No, no, no. Dro no. Drop this. 
please give me money, 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 money. Go away, go away. Greg. Yeah, but go away. Wow, this climb is, uh, I did not expect that. Look at the view. It's the first time I have a guy one meter away from me threatening to break my skull with a stone. What the hell? Look at the amazing view. Wow, it's so beautiful. But the problem if we break, the kids can catch up with me. So it's not good for me to take breaks. Can you imagine doing one of the hardest efforts you've done in your life while being harassed constantly during half an hour, one hour? Uh, about two kilometers left. You know what, guys? I think I am out of, of the gorge. Oh my God, that was mental. That was absolutely mental. Both the descent and the climb were super hard. I mean, the climb, the climb was just mental between the, how difficult it was and the kids. Okay, now I will see if I, if my batteries will, will allow me to reach a village which is about 30k from now from here hopefully yes so then I should be just two days away from Addis but, um, and I think that the gorge was the was the natural border between uh, the Amhara region and the Orom Oromia and the Oromo region not sure though but I think so <laughs> so I think that now I am in the Oromia region and the Oromo are, are the most represented the uh, ethnicity in Ethiopia. They make, I think it's one third of the population. <laughs> okay, so what's the situation? The situation is I was stopped on the main road of the first city after the gorge, because uh, apparently there is a, a problem on the road and uh, everybody's stuck here. The road is, is uh, closed. So I have to stay here because, well, there is a problem on the road. Nobody, everybody's stuck here. Uh, but now I ended up in a hotel and the, the issue I have is they charge a double the price for the uh, foreigners. <laughs> so I'm not very fan of that. So I'll see if I can find another hotel in the city. Okay, I just quickly checked the, the other hotel, but, but it looks really bad. So I'm gonna go for the double price. I guess I have no choice. And I will see if I can ride the rest of the road to Addis, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Yeah, let's go back to the Fancy hotel. That's my fancy hotel. That's my room. Look at that. Quite nice. So double the price is uh, twenty dollars. About a bit less than twenty dollars. My bags are here. You see, there are big furnitures. Usually, I never use the furnitures because. It's the best way to forget things when you leave. Uh, wow, the bathroom is quite clean. A nice shower. I don't know if there is pressure. Is there water? Oh yeah, well, there's pressure. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, the shower works properly, which is really nice. Uh, okay. Lovely bed. And I have a TV, some... Uh, seats some stuff here battery and let's go on the balcony so let's go outside as you can see all the trucks are here because everybody's stuck in the city and uh, well basically so it's one of the the problem is that it's one of the main uh, axes across the country from north from the north of the country to to the to addis so that's why uh, it's a very important axis. So they, I don't know, the guy at the hostel at the hotel says they will the, the road should be open again tomorrow because they say that the the army is uh, 
the Ethiopian army is really taking care of the of this road. They really want to secure it. So hopefully it's open tomorrow. Though I have no idea if it's if it means I will be able to ride it or not, because uh, I mean if it's safe for cars, it might still not be safe for a, for a bicycle for a slow bicycle. I will see tomorrow what's the continuation of the journey. But it does make sense because okay, let's go inside. That that's that's a map I found on Wikipedia about the about the civil conflict in Ethiopia which is not only, I don't know if you can see, not only about the north, so of course there is the, that's the Tigray in green, so in, uh, in pink it's, uh, it's the, the area is controlled by the government, that's the Tigray, so green is controlled by, uh, by the Tigrayan forces, but I guess that should be not relevant now because they have a peace agreement, but the thing is, the conflict also, there is also a conflict with the Liberation Front the Oromo Liberation Front, basically. And you have those yellow areas, or areas controlled by the Oromo something, like that makes a, a war against the government. Uh, and as you see, we are somewhere, that's the Blue Nile, so that's where we just crossed, so we are just here after the Blue Nile. And there is a pocket of yellow here, which you can see. So it does make sense, it's very close to this road, so it makes sense that there is some trouble here. Uh, yeah, that's it, so. so. It does make sense that there is some trouble in this region, uh, because they are the, I think it's the Liberation Army, Oromo Liberation Army or something like that, that is fighting against uh, the government, I don't know for what reason. Yeah, so the road is closed, let's see tomorrow. Let's see in the next video what will happen because I also have no idea what will happen. Let's see how I will reach Addis. Will I have to skip a part on a minibus or will I be able to ride everything? Anyway, see you for the next adventure. Ciao guys.